Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something that I haven't done in quite a while. It's a vendor wax haul. Um, and since I've lived in Canada, which is about 18 months now, I think I've only, I think I've only done three vendor wax hauls. I think maybe two with the bathing garden. I think I went in, in with Kim, Canada Kim 1978 on those. And I'm trying to think, oh, I did, um, Destination Wax once or twice, but that's about all, so I'm definitely overdue. Now, this is from VCS Vintage Chic Scent, and, um, ta-da, and I really had no business ordering any wax. I'm really getting, I, I'm not getting, I am at that overwhelmed point that I was several years ago, and I went on a very strict and relatively successful low buy. Not no buy, but pretty low buy compared to what I had been doing in the past. Like when I first got into wax, I don't know, 2019 or so, 18, 19, whatever. Uh, like every payday, I had a separate email folder for all my wax orders so I could, you know, delete them as they came in and like... It was a lot, like every payday, there was one or two orders, like so three or four orders a month. And that's way too much. I, you know, can't keep up with that. But anyway, VCS, I love, and um, they are closing their shop. I think the owner is Kirby and she's closing shop at the end of 2023. And so I wanted to put an order in and there's still another whole year left. Um, but, um, and I may do another one. In, in the future. I'm not sure. But anyway, these are, I think, all poinsettias. You know, I have this thing for poinsettias. I don't know what it is about poinsettias and wax. But anyhow, so let's get into it. Um, and uh, the, on the invoice is just a checklist, but there's no prices. But I think they were maybe $5.95. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't even want to say. You'll have to just go to the website. But anyway, so first of all uh, is a sample here of Jackie O rich vanilla bean cake top with whipped marshmallow. So I have different things with marsh with Jackie O in it. Like uh, there was a lemon one. I want to say it was beehive, but I know beehive is lemon, but I'm not sure if it's be lemon with Jackie O. And then I had a blackberry Jackie O and there was a couple different ones. And so if you like vanilla scents, this is definitely really, really good. So I am familiar with that one. Then let's see. Okay, here we go into the point scents. And luckily, all the scent notes are going to be on here. And um, I was on the website the other day. Just, I'm gonna say. I, not to shop, but I was just looking and I did not order anything. I was just looking, but there was still quite a few poinsettias left. So some, not, not all of these are Christmas poinsettias, I don't think. Um, okay. So I don't know Margot. And of course I had to get this because my sister's name is Margot and I've never had it before. It's peppermint swizzle sticks and sweet plum. So peppermint and plum. And isn't that pretty? So I just, there's something about them that were just like, Oh, I need, and I've wanted poinsettias from when I very first started watching wax videos. Um, oh gosh, Sarah Ann, Sarah, I don't think she does wax videos anymore. I haven't seen her in a long, long time, but I met her in San Antonio with Kim. Oh, this is good. Anyway, anyway, so she was the first videos, wax, wax, person video I was started watching and she was hauling these poinsettias from this company. It's like, oh my God, I need some of those. And then I would do her wax chopping, watch her wax chopping videos. And like at first I was like, I don't get this. Like she's chopping wax and people are watching her. Like I didn't get it at first until I, you know, got, went down the rabbit hole and then it, it all made sense which doesn't really make sense, but it does. You, you know, anyway, peppermint and plum, this is really, really nice. It does say sweet plum and it is sweet, but I detect, you know, maybe a hint of something spicy. Maybe not, not sure, but um, that's really good. 
I love anything and everything peppermint. Then we have Cranberry Woods Type. This is a Bath and Body Works. Um, and I don't know. I think I've had a candle somewhere along the line. I must have, but I can't tell you the scent notes right now. Definitely get the uh, cranberry and some kind of oaky, woodsy scent. So that's really nice. Oh, gosh, this is so exciting. Are you serious, Clark? Which is cranberry, orange, and clove. And this is going to be really good. I know that. Ooh, that's really good. Definitely getting the clove right off the bat. Uh, I might be getting a little bit of a citrus note. Right now, the clove is kind of overtaking everything, so hopefully when it warms up, um, I'll get the other notes in there as well. This one, I, I don't know if they're all fresh pours, but this one is November 29, December 5, November 29. So, so far, they're all pretty, pretty fresh pour. This is uh, November 29, Am I just eating because I'm bored? Uh, yeah. Eggnog, salted caramel, vanilla gingerbread, and rich sugar cookies. I love eggnog. I just made some eggnog uh, shortbreads the other day. I usually have my eggnog spiked. Oh, yeah, that's really good. I'm definitely getting the sweetness from the caramel first and a little bit of gingerbread. Yep, yep, that's a keeper too. Then we have Who Pudding, which is sugar plums and figs with notes of fresh oranges, candy apple, and cedar. And it's pretty plum color. Oh, I can smell the plum already. Yeah, uh, plum, uh, plum and figs, oranges, candy apples, and cedar. Oh, I'm definitely getting the cedar with the plum. Enjoyable. Uh, this one was poured November 15th, 2022. The Grinch, which I have had before. Cranberry, mul cranberry mulberry, orange, Moscato. This smells exactly like, and now that I smell it, I remember. Back in the 80s, if you're as old as I am, 80s, maybe early 90s, not too far into the 90s. Anyway, the thing to do was to have potpourri throughout your house, like on the back of the toilet or something like that. A little bowl of potpourri that you got from Michael's. It was all different scents, but they all smelled the same, like, like this mulberry and spices and clove and yeah you'll know if you're old as me and you remember potpourri shout it out down below love maryland is lavender apples and oak oh yeah this is really good oh the bag is ripped oh i'll have to rebag that Oh, I'm definitely getting lavender. I'm not huge on lavender scents, but this one is very soft. I might say a little bit powdery a little bit, but maybe that's from the oak that I'm smelling. That's really, really nice. I might, um, when was that poor? December 5th. Eh. One thing about VCS is, um, and we say it probably with most wax, the longer it sits, the better it is. At some point though, you know, that drops off. But VCS, I, a few years ago, if you follow me that long, I don't know, I bought a giant VCS de-stash from de-stash my wax or whatever. It was huge. There was like um, tons of coins and some poinsettias and a bunch. It was a huge, huge order. So I was still melting that probably two years after I bought it and it was still going strong. So this is really good. I'm gonna keep this one out so I can rebag that one. Cindy Lou Who I've also had before. Cranberry ginger ale, which is really, really good. 
Yep. Oh, so good. You can you can almost smell the effervescence. It is so it is so good. Strong. Loved it. Um, this is creamy nutmeg. Why did I order just creamy old nutmeg? I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe I was thinking it was gonna smell something like eggnog. Or maybe I thought it would be good blender. Oh, it kind of does smell like eggnog though, actually. The creaminess and the nutmeg. Oh, I might just uh, melt that on its own and see how it goes like that for a bit. Melt a chunk of it and see what happens. Uh, the chosen one is blood orange, blood orange juice cake. Blood orange juice cake. Sorry. Blood orange juice cake. Yeah, okay, I'm getting the citrus. I wouldn't say it is super bright or super juicy or super citrusy. I smell it, but it's not like over the top. And I do get a cakey note in there too. So hopefully, this is for November 29. Hopefully, if I let it sit a little bit longer, um, that will get better. And the Final one is uh, cranberry zucchini bread poured on November 29, and I love most zucchini bread scents. Oh yeah, this is good. Definitely the, the, the zucchini bread is right up front. A little bit of cranberry, some a tartness. So a, a tartness would be from the cranberry. All right. That's it for my VCS order. Um, I will be filming part three of um, the Bring Back My Bar collection, probably later today or tomorrow. And uh, let's see, voting starts tomorrow the 10th. For I'm talking Sensei, sorry, I, didn't, I should have said that. I'm a Sensei consultant, if you don't know already. Um, and so, <clears throat> pardon me, starting January 10th, you can start voting for the June um, release of the next Bring Back My Bar collection. So that's going to be on the 10th. Uh, more Bring Back My Bar reviews coming up tonight or tomorrow. And how many do I have left? I guess I have two. One, two is up. Three is going up. Four and five. So there'll be five parts. I'm trying to do them as quickly, but as not too quickly that I don't think I have a grip on the scent. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's it. Um, and I also have some empties to talk about. I might just go in and do the empties videos right now, too. There you go. All right, so that's it for now. Go to VCS. And if you've ordered VCS in the past, you'll know how good this wax is. And as I said, she's closing up shop at the end of 23. So you might want to stock up. And if you've not had VCS before, you definitely want to check out the website, VintageChicSense.com. Vintage okay, that's it for now. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.